A person in their early 20s might be finishing school or starting a career. Well, my next guest hopes that he's going to be starting a career in politics as a state representative. Alex Avery is running as a libertarian uh, for House District 81, which represents people in Allen County. And he is here to continue our Meet the Candidates series. Thank you so much for spending your morning with us. Thank you for having me on. I understand you were born in Grand Rapids, just moved to Fort Wayne about five years ago. That's right. What do you like best about living in this community? The people. The people here are just amazing. Um, you know, everybody I've talked to in my campaign, uh, I did a campaign for city council last year. I'm running for state representative now. I've talked to a lot of people, and everybody has just been so nice. And even people that, are, that uh, disagree with all of my political views mm -hmm. have been very nice. Even my opponents, you know, have sure. always been, have just been amazing people, you know. So. Certainly a young candidate out there in the running, and you are running with the Libertarian Party. What attracted you to that party? Well, I probably started when I was about 15 years old, okay? Uh, we had, my, in my family, we had Child Protective Services start a case against us. They tried mm -hmm. to take me and four of my siblings away from my mother, and so I feel like the government kind of tried to destroy our family. We ultimately won that case, but I think I really learned how dangerous government can be, and I really feel like we need to put a leash on government. and. Uh, and, and we need to understand how dangerous it can be. You learned that at a young age, certainly. Yes. Um, on your website, you say you're running because you hate politics. Can you explain that? That might sound a little bit, uh, a little bit strange, but uh, <laughs> no, I think politics is coercion and politics is force. People go to politics, go through politics and through the political process to get things that they wouldn't be able to get through voluntary exchange. I don't think that politics should have as much of an impact on our lives as it does. And I'd really like to reduce the, the, uh, the effect politicians have on our lives. Okay, so what do you like to do outside of campaigning, since this is your second time campaigning? What are your interests? Well, I am a musician. I, okay. I, write, uh, I write novelty electronic music. Oh, wow. How do you, like, th on your computer, on my computer or computer, keyboard? On my, or on my computer. It's all, it's all just sequenced on a computer. I don't really play any instruments that well. But uh, I also, uh, I'm, uh, you know, being 23 years old, I do play a lot of video games. Sure. I'm very big into World of Warcraft right now. Okay. Awesome. What, do you talk on the headset with the, the video games? I'm wondering if any of your gamer friends, what do they think about you running for office? You know, mo I don't think most of them know I'm running for yeah. office. And I don't know if I, how, how, how much I really want my, the constituents to know that I'm a gamer. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, it's just a hobby. That's it's just what, hey, it's not, it's, not, it's not like some horrible thing. But yeah. uh, uh, I, do, I do have the headset thing, and yeah. I do, yes. Hey, you're not alone. Plenty of people out there. I know some of them who are working with me this morning who like to play video games, so that's quite all right. Uh, you say also on your website that nobody's life, liberty, or property should be subject to a vote. What do you mean like that? Uh, by that, and how do you plan to change it? Well, I don't think that uh, I should be able to vote to take, take your money away sure. from you. And um, I think the government should be vo financed voluntarily through user fees. And uh, how would I change that? There is, if I get elected, there, right now, there's no way I could change that right now, okay? We're going to need a whole lot more people to get elected that feel that way. Um, we, need, uh, we need a lot more people to join the Libertarian Party and to run as candidates. We don't have uh, even enough candidates running to get a majority in the Indiana House of Representatives. Um, but uh, it's a growing political movement, and uh, we're, we're growing every year. Well, Alex, it was a pleasure talking to you and meeting you this morning. I certainly, again, appreciate you coming in and spending time with us. Thank you for having me. And just so you know, Alex is running against Wynn Moses and Martin Carball. Martin was on our show last weekend, and you can catch that interview still on Wayne.com on the On Politics tab. Incumbent Mr. Moses will join us next Sunday.